There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Oh. ...wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. It's another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. Whatever you need. Oh! 
There's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Brother, that Grim's find a box on high! Scalpa! Chalk a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Huh! <laughs> 
Move stick diagonal up left. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. Brother, before we leave, perhaps it might serve us to check the rig and see if it spat anything up. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be used in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. The Alpha! Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Giaffa!
How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something.
Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seem dead when... We finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skaza, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Ah, but enough of that for now.
Mir. What do you think it means? Seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted. And unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Who else? Ah, room near the brawler. The stone giant. Aye. Mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Are we going back to the city? So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. Nothing, brother. Just... Do you ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? 
harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. We're looking for Durlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? Collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <clears throat> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? Uh, you chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, and it talks too. Dino, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've, uh, just got one of those faces. Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. We should go. This isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine.
Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are...